And there's a new joke going around. Have you heard it? What is the five fingers? Say to the face! What? Slap! Cinema Shogun here, and every day that goes by, ever since that infamous Oscar slap, I learn a little more about how much control Jada Pinkett Smith has over Will Smith. Every day that passes, I understand the level of control that she has over him a tad bit more, and now it has come out that Will Smith couldn't even kiss some of his female co-stars for his movie roles, unless Jada Pinkett Smith was in attendance watching. Meaning if Will Smith had this movie role and you know the role required him to kiss someone, Jada Pinkett Smith would have to be there and she would give her two cents about how she felt about it. Let's take a look at this article. Will Smith, he couldn't kiss Rosario Dawson unless Jada Pinkett Smith was with him in seven pounds. Megastar Will Smith is accustomed to being intimate with his female co-stars on screen. But there was one point in seven pounds where Smith felt particularly nervous about acting out those close scenes with co-star Rosario Dawson. Because of this, Will Smith wanted his wife with him while doing the scene, but Jada Pinkett Smith had some choice words for his, for his reaction. Right away, before I go further into the story, I call BS. Will Smith has kissed tons of girls on various movies, TV shows, you name it. I don't buy for one second that Will Smith was nervous. Oh, this one time Will Smith just happens to be so nervous about this that he needs his wife right there watching. No. What was happening is Jada was having one of her little episodes. She was trying to enforce her control over him. And embarrass embarrassingly, he had to bring his wife to the job so she could stand by why he did these love scenes. And he made an excuse about it and said that it was because of him and because he felt nervous. Not for one second do I think Will Smith is nervous to kiss someone on a movie. This is what he does for a living. His wife forced her way in there and then basically made him create a fake reason as to why she's there. In Seven Pounds, Will Smith plays an IRS agent who offers parts of his body to those in need of a donor. Dawson played Smith's love interest in the film. But she also previous, previously worked with the Oscar winner for Men in Black 2. Dawson shared that there were a few notable differences between working with Smith on Seven Pounds and their previous film. So this is a woman who knew Will Smith, worked with Will Smith before, and she said that it wasn't like this on the last movie they did. And that's why I say, oh, okay, this wasn't something that Will Smith normally did. This is something Jada's got her panties up in a bunch and now she's coming and trying to ruin Will's life, trying to humiliate him. He's an actor. He does this for a living and his wife sits scolding in the corner as he kisses women on screen, humiliating him. I didn't recall him having an acting coach on Men in Black 2. I could be wrong, Dawson said in an interview with Vulture. Since then, He's done Ali. So besides punching everything on set, that also gave him a gravitas that he hadn't had before. As goofy and as fun as he can be, he worked with his acting coach a month before starting to shoot Seven Pounds. So she says that, you know, she's worked with him before, but now he's having issues with his scene. What does that tell you, people? He's having issues acting. His wife is here on the set watching him as he tries to be, you know, kiss this woman and do other things. He's obviously, this point in time in his life, he was going through some issues with Jada. Will Smith didn't all of a sudden need an acting coach on seven pounds after having acted his entire life. Will Smith didn't all of a sudden need his wife there while he was kissing people to make him feel comfortable. No, he was dealing with issues from Jada. And 
It changed his personality to a certain extent. He was staring at people to the point of discomfort. We had these conversations on set because I became re really curious as to whether I was talking to Will or Ben. And I think at times he didn't even know. It was interesting talking to him about going home and hearing that Jada was telling him, you're driving me crazy. You really need to stop looking at me like that. So on the set of this movie, for the first time in his life, he's got an acting coach because his scenes are off. For the first time in his career, his wife is there watching him film all of his love scenes with these other women. And his personality changes. He's often caught staring at people. But is he really staring at them or is he just staring in the distance? Is he really just a lost, empty soul? And then when she did get him to open up, she says that he was telling her about how Jada says that he's driving her crazy and needs to stop looking at her. Why do you think he's looking at her like that? Because of the torture she is putting him through on this movie set. Dawson revealed that one of the more difficult scenes to get through were their love scenes. If only because according to her, Will Smith was shy when it was time to get intimate. Will Smith doesn't strike me as the type of dude that would be shy when it's time to get intimate. He's one of the most famous people. Power, I don't want to say powerful people, but he's one of the most famous people in the world. I'm sure he's had his fair share of women. He's worked on his fair share of movies where he has to be intimate with women. Never have we heard about this before. In fact, we've always heard that Will Smith was like a player. You know? Will Smith joked around with everyone, had a bright personality. Yet here he was scared to get intimate. Is it because his wife is over there in the corner? Maybe he's a little bit shy about getting intimate because his wife demanded that she stands there in the corner and watches as he does so. Or maybe it's because of some type of psychological trauma that his wife is inflicting upon him at home, which he also tried to open up to you about. Here is this guy, the guy who was pushing our kiss to like the end and the end and the end of the schedule, Dawson said. So the point was like, okay, I know I don't smell bad. I know I brush my teeth. I did the deodorant. So she begins thinking that something's wrong with her because Will Smith is like freaking out about their love scenes. And even though they're supposed to film these love scenes early on, he's getting them pushed all the way to the end of filming. And he's freaking out about it. She tried offering Smith words of encouragement to ease his worries. You are just nervous. You're nervous about kissing me. Don't worry, baby. I'll be gentle. She remembered telling him. Oh, you know Jada didn't like that. Ultimately, Smith only felt okay about kissing Dawson if his wife was present. How many of you all believe this nonsense? How many? See yourself out now. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you want me to believe this BS? The only way he could feel comfortable about doing these love scenes is if his wife was there. But Jada had some words for Smith before his love scene with Dawson. So in this moment, I guess maybe part of Will Smith wants Jada to be kind of jealous, maybe. To reassure him that, oh, okay, maybe she does kind of care that I'm over here, you know, kissing on another attractive actress. But in that moment, Dawson said he wanted Jada to be on set and that she was letting him know, you really need to bring it. Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. So... In this moment, I think it was somewhat of a vulnerable moment for Will Smith because, for one, I think he was kind of being forced to do this. But I also think that maybe he was reaching for some type of sign from his wife that she cared, maybe that she was a little bit bothered by it. I mean, let's be honest. If your significant other had to make out with other people for a living, you would be kind of bothered by it a little bit. And I think he wanted that from his wife, but instead... He got encouraged, like, yeah, get out there and do it better. Don't embarrass me. 
Don't embarrass me. Acting as if he's not even competent enough to kiss a woman or to pretend to make love on this movie, you know? And she's already been out there in the public talking about how he's horrible in bed and doesn't know how to please her. And in this moment, she's like, don't go out there and embarrass me, Will. Once again, ego crushing. Ego crushing. And I mean, I don't believe it. I don't believe it for one second. I don't believe that this man who works on movies for a living that has had countless love scenes, kiss scenes with some of the most attractive women in the world all of a sudden started freezing up. And this isn't something that we've heard about from every movie set. This um, happened around a certain period in his life. And I think it's because Jada was being toxic. You know, even if you're nervous about this love scene, that shouldn't change your whole demeanor as a person. Yet she stated he's been acting totally different. He didn't act this shy when we were on the last movie. The only other factor here is that now Jada's in play. And I, you're not going to sit here in any stretch, by any stretch of the means and make me believe that Will Smith demanded for his wife to be there while he was kissing people. Now, maybe, just maybe, they're that twisted and they got off on it. Because I do believe that they liked, they probably like to watch each other have sex with other people. And if that's their thing, that's fine. I don't kink shame anyone. If that's your thing, cool, whatever. We all have our things. But I don't know. I'm getting a weird vibe here. Either they both enjoyed this and the reason he wanted his wife to be there is to show her this because this is something they mutually uh, like doing. Or this was another manipulation tactic by Jada. I believe that in this moment, this is Jada being controlling. That's why he didn't feel himself on the movie set because he has this hawking bad energy over his shoulder 24 seven controlling him. And it's crazy because Will Smith isn't allowed to kiss women on movie sets without Jada being there. Yet Jada could be at home by herself getting raw dogged by her son's friends. Her son's friends are sitting there playing Halo, playing Call of Duty, playing rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to bang Will Smith's wife, who's going to bang our friend's mom today. So while she's having sex with kids or young men who are friends with their kids, she's also hawking over him at these movie sets, making sure that he doesn't have these alone moment, intimate moments with these various actresses. And you know, a lot of times these narcissistic cheaters, they do things like this and they do this to um, further control you. And they do this to maybe comfort you in a way. You know, in this situation, yeah, Will Smith <clears throat> may have felt weird about it, but at the same time, there's a certain comfort there that he probably got from knowing that, okay, well, at least my wife cares enough to care. My wife is jealous. My wife allowed this to bother her because she loves me. And if this bothers my wife, then obviously she wouldn't do anything like this to me. That's the type of mindset that they want you to have. These narcissistic, manipulative cheaters, they want you to have that mentality. They're often overprotective because of the dirt that they're doing behind your back. And they do this almost to console you and to take the heat off of them, to almost before they even get caught doing something wrong, to just flip it all around on you. So instead of Will Smith worrying, oh, you know, is my wife at home banging my son's friends? He's thinking about, oh, my wife is crazy. She loves me. She's on this movie set making sure, you know, I'm not growing feelings for these women's on, women I'm kissing and this and that, you know. And you get to feeling yourself like, okay, my wife does care. But in reality, she doesn't. Reality, she only cares about manipulating you, controlling you, humiliating you. And she's going to go sleep with another one of your son's friends next week when you're back on this movie set without her. So I feel like this was a complete manipulation tactic. And if it's happened once, I'm sure it's happened again. And I am not, like I said, I am never going to buy this story that Will Smith was so nervous that he had to have his wife with him on the movie set for the love scenes. 
Total BS. That was Jada's call. Jada's call and Will Smith found some type of excuse for it so he wasn't as embarrassed. Even though the excuse he came up with about him being nervous also is embarrassing, it's less embarrassing than being a, what, a 40-something, 50-something-year-old man at the time whose wife is still watching you do your scenes. Meanwhile, the world knows your wife is in entanglements with kids. So, all around messed up situation. I think this just, just yet another example of the type of control Jada has over him. I feel like she's a wicked person, y'all. A wicked witch. The wicked witch of the West is Jada. The type of, oh man, Will's got it bad. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for the guy. What can I say? But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Do you believe that this was Will's choice or do you think Jada was behind it? Let me know down in the comments below and we can have a conversation about that. But while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.